what's up you guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for sticking with me and if you're new to my channel welcome I hope that you join my little YouTube community here I've really been enjoying it I know that there are tons of beauty influencers out there on Instagram on YouTube but I'm just happy and grateful for my little 158, I think, subscribers that I have now. I'm just so grateful, I mean, to even have gotten to 100. Um, maybe this year I can set a goal to get to 1,000. Um, that would be really awesome. But I'm just really enjoying this. This has become like a little hobby of mine. I'm really passionate about sharing um, tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. I'm really passionate just about talking about beauty items, hair, makeup. I mean, what girl doesn't like to talk about hair and makeup? And then me being a hairstylist and makeup artist, I get tons of questions all the time from clients of what products do I use? What What's out on the market right now that's new, but that's really good and worth, worth um, investing in. So this is a way for me to, you know, reach people like that and yeah share my love for beauty and also maybe somewhere help encourage moms along the way because I am a mom I have four girls and I'm just really I mean not just moms but women in general um, it's a nasty world out there society and if I can recommend um, a foundation that makes you feel amazing I mean then my day is made if I can recommend um, a lipstick and you tried it out and it makes you feel like a boss well then you're welcome and again my day is made and it makes it all worthwhile for me but anyway I picked up some new makeup um, I have tons of new makeup that has just been sitting in my drawers and I just haven't gotten around to using it how I have sustained from using certain palettes because they are so beautiful like I just want to dip into them um, like I have the Huda Beauty the new nude palette Oh, that palette is so beautiful, but I'm gonna do um, a Valentine tutorial with it. Hopefully I can do two videos this week But anyway, um, I did pick up a couple of products and if you want to see what they are and how they perform then just keep on watching All right, so I've already done my skincare regimen for the day um, I applied my moisturizer, sunscreen, serums, all that good stuff. Um, I picked up this new um, primer by Cover FX. They revamped, I don't know if they're keeping their old primers or they revamped their primers and these are going to take um, over the ones that they had out before. Um, but anyway, these are new by Cover FX. This is the Gripping Primer Plus Firming. Let's see what it claims. A unique jelly texture that creates a smooth glass-like finish on the skin and grips makeup for flawless application and long wear. Perfect for all skin types. So I'm really excited about this and we're gonna go ahead and just put this on. All right, so I'm just gonna squeeze out a little bit. Oh, it is like a jelly texture. I'm excited about this glass-like finish. Oh, it's really, oh, it's pretty. It's a little bit sticky. All right, let's see how it goes on the skin. Just gonna squeeze a little bit, like a dollop on my finger and just dot it. Dot it on my face. And then I'm gonna like swipe, but also like kind of press it into my skin. It does feel a little sticky, but that's probably because once you put your foundation over, the foundation is supposed to stick to it, I'm assuming. Oh my gosh, it does feel a little, like my skin feels tight right now. That is weird. I feel like it's like, like tightening. Okay, now for foundation. This has been talked about all over the internet. Um, it's the new L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear. So I am a fan of this L'Oreal Pro Glow. This is a great foundation. I really love this. It's a great find at the drugstore if you're looking to try something out with a little bit more of a dewier finish. It's not super dewy, but I love the coverage and the wear of it. 
and it also has SPF 15 in it so that's really good I always like when foundations have a little bit of SPF even though I wear my own underneath um, I'm just very big on SPF on the skin because sunspots guys sun spots so I know this has been all the rave all over the internet so I wanted to pick it up and try it Plus it's drugstore and anytime I can find a great drugstore foundation that I can recommend to clients that's quick and easy and accessible for them to go try and pick up, um, I love that. So I got the shade 430. Um, I don't know, I really wanted the 425 one. That one looked like it was more my match but they were all sold out. And so the one below it was a little too pink and I do not do well with pink undertone foundations, so I went ahead and grabbed this one. I'm just gonna pump this right on the sponge and apply it. Wow, that color actually matched pretty well. Guys, I really like this primer. I'm excited to see how it performs. Like, it still feels sticky, but it's grabbing a whole, I feel like it's blending out really pretty with the foundation. I mean, I don't know if it's the foundation itself, a combination of both, but I'm really liking the finish. Like, it's just kind of melting into my skin and I, I am not mad at that. Probably gonna have to apply a second layer right here where I still have a lot of um, old acne scars, which is totally okay. I usually have to do that anyway. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do like one more, like a half a pump, and I'm just gonna press that into my cheek right here where I need a little more coverage. You guys, this foundation is beautiful, wow. I am impressed with this L'Oreal foundation. Can you see how pretty like my skin looks? I mean this side needs some work, but the power of foundation and this color seems to match me pretty well. Very nice. Like it looks like my skin, it even has a little bit of a glow to it. I like that. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and did the rest of my complexion, my brows, and also my lips. Um, it's nothing new that I tried, so I just wanted to stick to using the new products that um, I wanted to showcase in this video, but I will list everything down below that I used. Um, so the next new product that I picked up is this eyeshadow palette by Natasha Denona. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. Now, Natasha Denona, it's known for being a pretty expensive brand, but I have heard amazing things about her eyeshadows and there is no way I was gonna pay, spend over $200 for an eyeshadow palette, but this I saw this at Sephora and I thought that it was a great way to try um, out the shadows and plus these are definitely shadows that are great for every day, colors that I tend to love and gear towards anyway. So I think this was, I believe, $24. Um, and you get five shadows. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. Um, if you break it down, it's about $5 a shadow. So it was worth it to me. And like I said, it's a great way that I can try out the Natasha Denona eyeshadows and see how they perform. I'm gonna start with this one right here. And this is in the shade Sienna. Okay, so I just built up this color Sienna in my crease and it blended out really beautifully. I liked that um, as I layered it and went dipped back my dipped my brush back into the palette, 
it did get a little darker and more intense. So that's nice that as you um, buff the color in, it becomes more intense. So I really like that. So I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M433. It's just like a smaller detailed brush. This is similar to the MAC 217, I believe it is. And I'm gonna dip into this dark shade right here and kind of deepen my crease a little. And I'm just gonna focus that kind of on the outer corner of my crease at first. And then I'll slowly diffuse it and buff it in. I'm going to go back with the first brush that I use, and that's what I'm going to use to diffuse the color out. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab a shimmery shade. The question is, which shimmery shade do I want to use? <laughs> They're all beautiful. Let's see. I'm going to swatch them all. There's this one, oh, that's pretty. There's this one, oh, that's really pretty. And then there's this one. All right, so I think I'm gonna go in with this bronzy one right here, and then I'm gonna use this in my inner corner. That packed on to my lid so pretty. So now I'm gonna dip my pinky into this shade right here, and that's what I'm gonna use to highlight my inner corner. Now I'm gonna smudge out my lower lash line. I'm actually gonna take like this kind of angled um, eyeliner brush, and I'm gonna take the darkest shade and I'm gonna press it into my lower waterline. And I'm gonna take my little buffing brush and I'm gonna dip into this lighter crease shade right here and kind of smudge out. I think I'm gonna highlight my brow bone area and I'm gonna use the same shade that I used on my inner corner. I'm just gonna take this little fine detailed brush. I'm just gonna highlight right underneath the brow bone. All right, you guys, I'm gonna put on mascara and then I'll come back with my final thoughts. I loved everything. I I really enjoyed this primer, the way it glided on my skin. Um, like I said, it did leave a little bit of a tacky um, finish to it, so you will experience a little bit of tackiness, but once I put my, um, once I started blending on the foundation, it just kind of like gripped onto it, which is why I'm sure it's called the gripping primer. It gripped a hold of my foundation, and I just felt it start to kind of like melt it into my skin. And you can see like my skin just has, I mean, I know it claims to give you like a glass like finish. So I mean, I guess that's what you can say. Like it's like a really pretty, like, like a porcelain finish. I really think it's beautiful. Um, I don't know if it's the foundation, the combination of the two, but I really enjoyed these two products. I'm excited to try this primer with other foundations. Um, and I'm excited to continue to use this foundation and try it with other primers, but so far this combo Oh my gosh, I just love the finish of my skin I know this isn't the blurring primer, but it kind of blurred out, you know, my little bit of texture that I still have and Yeah, I mean it performed well. I set it with a little bit of powder I didn't use too much powder, but I did kind of set it with powder um, my bronzer, my cream contour, my blush, my highlight, everything just blended on beautifully onto my skin. I had no patchiness. I'm having a really good makeup day today and I'm super excited about that. My skin is behaving. My skin looks really pretty. I'm really happy about it. And this Natasha Denona, this little mini nude palette, 
Um, I really enjoyed it. I think that this is a great way to invest into some Natasha Denona eyeshadows if you've been looking to try them. Um, I know they have other mini sets with like different tones. I think they have some purple one that has like a purple like color story to it. I think they have another one that has like um, like an olive green shimmery shade in it. I might look into getting that one. But yeah, I think that if you've been wanting to try the Natasha Denona eyeshadows, but you just cannot bring yourself to spend, you know, 200 plus dollars on an eyeshadow palette, which I do not blame you at all. I probably won't either. <laughs> Plus it's travel friendly. I mean, I think this is a great um, little eyeshadow palette to throw in your travel makeup bag. If you're going on a trip somewhere, you can easily do a very soft, very natural look. Um, I mean, just putting one of these shimmery shades and kind of buffing it out with the brush. I think that's a beautiful look. Um, this is gonna be a great little go-to palette. I mean, you can use the dark shade all over the lid and do a really pretty like smoky, um, smoky brown eye um but yeah i really like this this eyeshadow palette i think the eyeshadows blended out beautifully um it was really nice that i could pack and layer them on each other it's really able to build up the eyeshadow without any problem at all no patchiness no nothing like that so um i really liked it and i think that it was worth the 25 dollars to be able to try um, the Natasha Denona shadow. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you're going to go pick up any of these. I think they are great buys. I'm really happy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below. It really truly is encouraging. So thank you guys so much for all the love and comments that I get down below. Um, it's really nice to interact even with old friends um, from like middle school and high school that I haven't seen in forever. It's really cool to connect with them here on my channel. Reina, I see you. Thank you for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. You're so sweet with your comments always. Um, but it truly means the world to me. And um, yeah, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day from wherever you're watching. And until next time, bye guys.